Letters to the editor, editorial, letters, thedailyreview.com, the Daily and Sunday Review, Letters to the Editor, published on Friday, February 6, 2009, titled, A Taxing Situation. Editor, State Deputy Attorney General Christopher J. Jones may have his heart in the right place, but he is not exploring every option. When it appeared that Brenda Mott was getting special treatment, I emailed Tina Pickett, Governor Rendell, Senator Specter, Casey, and Congressman Carney, the IRS and the Attorney General of Pennsylvania, about Mott's tax liabilities, as it appeared that both Judge John and Brenda Mott had undeclared incomes. Judge Mott may have been shrewd enough to distance himself from his wife in terms of seizable assets, but from a tax standpoint, they both benefited financially from the stolen money. For whatever reason, while others are responsible for extra income, apparently when you steal it and you are powerful, the department, the Pennsylvania Department of Revenue and the IRS is not interested. Why? Even our past state Senator Madigan actually campaigned to keep Judge Mott in power. So, Deputy Attorney General Christopher Jones, when will your boss, Governor Rendell, go after both Mott's for undeclared income taxes, penalties, and fines? We should not hold our breaths, for as the late Leona Helmsley said, we don't pay taxes, only little people pay taxes. Apparently, that appears to be the case in Tina Pickett's jurisdiction. Joseph Rene Dupont, Tawanda. There was an editor's note attached to this. Uh, Pennsylvania Deputy Attorney Christopher Jones works for Attorney General Tom Corbett as an independent elected Republican. Mr. Jones does not work for Governor Rendell. Uh, my note is I stand corrected. However, I did write to his, his boss, uh, Attorney General Tom Corbett. So, whatever. The main thing is I'm happy that the... Um, the Daily Review uh, published this letter. It's been a long time since they published a letter that was not rosy and uh, rosy and upbeat. Um, so apparently uh, they are starting to do their job. Congratulations, Daily Review. The following video was done around November 3rd, 2007 at the Monroton Firehouse in Monroton, Pennsylvania. It was organized uh, by the Bradford County Concern Citizens Group, uh, headed by Victor Lawson. Uh, I'm going to skip over to the next page. I, I think some of those questions there have been answered. Uh, this is from John, and he, he wanted the question to be asked of a lawyer in attendance. And uh, but I don't, I don't know. Yeah, we do have a lawyer here, but. I'm still going to ask these guys up here. As an officer of the court, was not Judge Mott responsible for, for reporting an embezzlement once exposed? The church funds Brenda took from accounts under her control, instead of repaying the unpaid amount, is he not, it is not, uh, is not he possible an accessory after the fact and covering up a failure to fulfill the duties of a court officer. I'll take that. The other day a letter was written by the treasurer of the Church of Christ, Lee Crimbring, who's been a member of the church and the treasurer for quite some time. Uh, very, very fine person. This was a very difficult thing for her to address, and she felt it needed to be addressed. Uh, we stand behind what she said. Uh, how that was handled by the church is the church's business, as far as we're concerned. We don't think it was handled the right way. Perhaps there was, I, perhaps there was a cover-up. Um, it appears that way. That we just stand behind Lee Crimbring, uh, the, the church treasurer. And that's that's all the only response we have to that. This whole episode of the Mots has really been a very depressing, demoralizing uh, thing for the people of Bradford County, and it should be depressing for anybody in the United States who realizes that if you're rich and powerful, you get away with almost anything. Uh, Brenda Mott was essentially got slapped on her, her wrists 
for stealing between a half million and a million dollars. She'll be paying it off at uh, right now, I think, two hundred dollars a month, which will take about two hundred and seventy years to pay it off. Uh, there were no liens on her house, and um, they should at least go for her diamond ring. But in any event, um, you can't tell me that uh, Judge Mott did not know an extra $100,000 is flowing into their coffers every year from uh, Brenda Mott's uh, illegal activities. And it appears uh, that neither one of them declared this income on their taxes, either to the state or the federal government. And it appears that the federal government and the state has done nothing to collect uh, taxes on this revenue, um, uh, penalties on this revenue, um, fines uh, on, on this uh, undisclosed, um, unreported income. And I suggest you um, ask your elected officials. In fact, you know, if you're ever charged with any type of um, crime involving uh, money or items, just ask for the um, Brenda Mott treatment. And if the IRS ever comes after you, just tell them you want to be treated like Brenda Mott and uh, John Mott. Anyhow, that's uh, my YouTube. Uh, I would like to hear your feedback. Take care.